What Arcanists regard to be more important is the knowledge from another pathway, which is often known as Gnosis. Compared with mankind's knowledge gained from reasoning, what are the features of Gnosis? Sonetto. Miss, the features of Gnosis are 1. It cannot be verified by an independent third party and 2. It is impossible to be comprehended through reasoning. Exactly. And that's also one of the reasons that the knowledge of the study of Arcanum is hard to be accepted by the academic world. The academic research is required to be open to the public and can pass the independent tests. But the unpredictability of Arcanum will lead to the arcane researches to methodological agnosticism. Thus, all the trainings and the scientific stabilizing appliances that the school provided for you is to overcome the instability of your arcane skill, in order to ensure the peace and stability of the human world. May the peace be with us! <sighs> oh, j'ai presque été assez rapide pour répondre à cette question. Comment elle a... Comment elle a pu être si rapide Next question. After the fall of the Roman Empire, the number of arcanists, along with the related literature, have reduced correspondingly. Who can tell us the history of that time in brief? Miss! Miss! I... I... Miss! I know this one! Sonetto. As the Roman Empire declined, some Arcanists were tempted by the irrational side of their nature and applied magia naturalis in warfare and disputes over interests, which irritated the church and other powers of religion. At that time, people in Europe widely considered Arcanum to be the paganism that collaborates with the demons, hence the trials against Arcanists. In response, Arcanists struck back fiercely. However, Due to their spontaneous character and the unpredictability of their whereabouts, their communication was unsuccessful during the fight. Both sides struggled in repeated battles. In the end, mankind, jointly led by both their religious and secular leaders, prevailed. Huh? It's not possible! It's not what my grandmother said! Miss, she's wrong! I know! I know the right answer! All right. Give it a try, Matilda. For what I know, it wasn't Arcanists who started the war. The attack on Constantinople was waged by lordships in Western Europe to ransack the capital for resources and the literature of Arcanum. The nursery rhyme my grandpa sang for me tells me all about it. Long ago, Arcanists weren't called by this name. They were once gifted philosophers, diviners or doctors, until they were put on the labels of pagans, freaks and witches, and isolated by their people. They were entirely forgotten. The next time people saw them, they had this new name, Arcanists. Inspiring. Do you remember its name? Never told me that. How about the melody? Could you present several lines for the class? Let me think. It was like. Uh, hmm, hmm, that's not it. Oh, that's weird. I. I, I can't remember it. Hmm. Don't remember a thing, but still feel confident enough to answer the question. Shame on you, little thing. I was even humming the horn last night. It's just a. <laughs> Sit down, please, Matilda. Sonetto is correct. Matilda, you have just transferred here. 
It may take you some time to get used to our curriculum. A rhyme can be used in studying folklore, but it's still different from a formal historical intelligence. <sighs> Class, please turn to the last question of the test. After the Ottoman Empire seized control over Constantinople, Georgius Gemistos, a member of our Sharon commune, also an arcanist and philosopher of the Roman Empire, traveled to Florence. He brought one classical literature of ancient thurgy into the city, which sparked discussion and later brought about the annual humanist gathering, the Chaldea Conference, where the study of Arcanum was debated over its use for mankind development. Who knows the name of his work brought by Gemistos? Miss! Me! Me! Miss! Please! I know this one! I do know! Hmm. Verton, do you know the answer to this question? Verton? Verton, she is absent again. It is Caladia! <laughs>